Hello, welcome to Top Mexico Real Estate. I'm Thomas Lloyd. We're in Tulum, and we're actually looking at a beautiful house um, here in the downtown part of Tulum. And I'm with Javier. He's the developer. And what's very interesting about Javier is he can um, construct homes for you that are very eco-friendly. Javier, how are you doing? Hi, thank you. Hi, Tom. Um, yeah, I have a company. It's called Green Beat Solutions. Uh, you can look us up at uh, greenbeatsolutions.com. Basically, we give consulting in all sustainable matters of uh, everyday life. So we go uh, from your property, giving you consulting in which property you would choose between one or the other, uh, taking many things in consideration such as soil, uh, wind factors, uh, sun movement, uh, and it'll be depending on what you want to accomplish from your property. Then we give you consulting in um, building so that you can use the greenest available materials uh, we have a team of architects, designers, and builders that could build a home for you. Myself, what I do, what I do for a living, is give consulting in all solar, um, alternative energies, consulting, um, water treatment, uh, rain water capture. So the whole idea is that you're capturing your rain water in your own roof. You're using that water and you're storing it. Uh, then you're after storing the water, you use it in your showers and your sinks. Then we treat that water right here in the house and you can use that water for irrigation. So basically it's taking advantage to the most of uh, all the resources that we have for free. Now here in this region, Tulum or Riviera Maya, where do you think people should be taking the most advantage? Like the wind, sun, what would you suggest? I think wind and sun, a combination of both, that's regarding energy. Uh, regarding heating, I definitely think they should go solar with solar water heaters. Do not um, um, confundir, como se dice confundir? Don't mix up uh, a solar water heater with a solar uh, uh, panel. They're, they work two different things. Once the solar panels for energy and a solar wa uh, water heater, they use solar panels, but they're only for your water. And uh, you get your money back uh, within a year and a half or two years. You save up to 80% in gas. You, have, you can basically forget about gas and your water gets heated and it works. There's a lot of sun for that. Um, water treatments are very important in this area because we have the cenotes and we have the aquifers only about six to eight meters deep. So uh, it's very important that we treat our water uh, and that we're very conscious that any water that we don't treat, it's going to be end up getting filtered into the cenotes. Uh, if you're living in a rural area, I would definitely advise to go that way. Uh, between solar and wind, um, I think a combination of both works really well because sometimes you won't have enough sun uh, for a few days in, in this area, but you will have wind. So, I mean, it, it does work. Um, the, the ratio of like what it costs you and what you get for it is still very, uh, it's still very high. I mean, it's still not very viable. Uh, prices are keep going down and down and down. So hopefully in the next few years, uh, it can be more accessible. So what is accessible is basically heating up the water with the solar. Yeah, that, that's a no-brainer. I mean, you, you do save money, you make your money back after a year and a half. Uh, it works and uh, I would definitely suggest anyone that's building a new home or that is tired of paying so much money uh, in gas for heating that they should go solar with their water heaters. Well, if you have any other questions with Javier or questions regarding how to build eco-friendly homes or residences, please give us a call here at Top Mexico Real Estate. We'll put you right in touch with Javier.